Now live from his in-home studio from Merrickville, Ontario, Canada, which is literally in the middle of butt-fucking nowhere, your host from Dwayne's World, Dwayne the Boozing Blogger! Hey, thanks for that great introduction, folks. we got lots to talk with talk about today so let's get at her first of all welcome to Dwayne's world the podcast that's right coming at you every wednesday sometimes i'll have somebody with me as a co-host other days well it's just me uh so today yeah we got lots of stuff to to uh talk about now make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can always get the updates when these things happen right okay uh let's get at her with the headlines you know what? I got so many, much news today. We're going to start with sports. That's right. Uh, in case you didn't know it, the Rams beat the uh, Bengals on Sunday night in the Super Bowl. Uh, lots of uh, talk online about the Super, the halftime show with all hip-hop artists. Uh, I tried watching it, couldn't. Uh, but uh, a lot of people seem to enjoy it. Just not me. Um, the cool thing about the Rams winning the Super Bowl this year is that Matt Stafford, who played for 11 seasons with the Lions and, and you know, 11 seasons of shitty football, he finally got a chance to get a Super Bowl. And I think he deserves it after playing all those years for such a shitty team. So it was, it was good on them that Stafford won. Uh, Cooper Cup, he won the MVP, which was, you know, if you've watched Cooper Cup all season long, he's been amazing. Other sports news, my Patriots, they lose their offensive coordinator. That's right, Josh McDaniels is going to coach the Las Vegas Raiders this year. Unfortunately, he's been with the Patriots for so long, and he's been such a, a big part of their systems and uh helping develop the quarterbacks and all kinds of super bowl wins and stuff so yeah he's going to be he's going to be sadly messed and very very hard to replace so the news uh seems uh premier trudeau or prime minister trudeau he has invoked the emergencies act which is basically it took over for the war measures act and it gives gives him more power over you know, he could take away our constitutional rights and shit. And a lot of people are freaking out over this. Uh, they, you know, the conspiracy, the conspiracy, the conspiracy theorists who think that uh, Trudeau is going to use this to manipulate systems and stuff. He's not. He just wants to get rid of the goddamn truckers. That's all he wants. And like, I, oh, sorry. And I didn't mean to. And when I say goddamn truckers, I didn't mean to offend anybody who actually is in support of the truckers. Because like I said, I'm support of freedom. I'm not in support of some of the other things they're they're doing or they're for or how they're doing it. But I am all for your freedoms uh, about your vaccinations and all the other mandates and stuff. I'm I'm for all that, but there's also a bunch of crap that's been going through Ottawa with with these protests. Uh, it, it's funny because it's been driving people crazy. You know, people arguing, friendships being lost, marriages in upheaval because you know one one spouse believes this and the other spouse doesn't, and they're fighting over that. So it's a uh, yeah. So now. Trudeau has all the power and he's only going to, he's limited it to a certain area. And that's just basically, he's calling it in for the, for the truckers. Now I don't understand going that far with it because like, I mean, this replaces the war measures act, by the way, uh, this, and um, the last time the war measures act was invoked was his father, Pierre, invoked it during the FLQ crisis in Quebec where the FLQ were setting off bombs and kidnapping people and 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 stuff so he brought measure, measures act to end that so that you know Quebec could separate or you know he could save some lives from it so yeah this is basically that's what the war measures act is for and i think that's what the emergencies act is for too more than just a whole bunch of stubborn truckers who won't go home uh, i don't know what to say about them the truckers are you know they're still causing a little bit of havoc but like i said i've been watching 
videos from downtown Ottawa, and I haven't seen much. I haven't seen much violence. Uh, I see everybody still having a good time and stuff. I, I like. I mean, there are there are lots of incidences where people are being attacked, not attacked physically. Well, yeah, there's physical attacks too because there's people who who are telling others to take their masks off and stuff. And some people don't feel comfortable not having a mask on. And if they don't take their masks off, sometimes people can, are getting aggressive with them and, you know, spitting at them or whatever. It's just gross. But, but remember, if you got the right to fight for freedom of your mandates, these people have the right to not wear a mask too. So don't, don't go there. You can't pick one or the other. You got to, if you want all for freedoms, you got to be all for the freedoms. You can't pick and choose what you want for your goddamn freedoms. That's, that's just not the way the world works, is it? Oh God. But yeah, so now this, this, uh, so now with the emergencies act, uh, the, you're going to see something. Uh, I hope it doesn't bring in violence because it could bring in violence and we really don't need any of it. Like speaking of violence, uh, Chief Peter Slowly uh, from the Ottawa Police, he re he uh, stepped down yesterday because uh, he just couldn't control it. The, a lot of people were saying they wanted his job taken from him and stuff. And and you know what? I get what he was doing. Uh, they say he wasn't doing his job. I think he was looking out for everybody, and that's both sides: the anti-protesters and the protesters. Or the protesters protesting the protesters. You know what I mean? Slowly, slowly didn't want to see anybody get hurt. And that meant his officers or, or civilians. And so he has held back on trying to control the situation because he doesn't want it to be like the insurrection January 6th in Washington. He's just he was playing it safe, and that's what Canadians do for the most part anyways. We play it safe. Uh, I, I feel bad for the guy because he was put into a situation where he where he tried to solve it peacefully, and it, and it blew up in his face. He ends up retired. I don't think it was his fault. Honestly, I applaud. I applaud the guy for trying to end this peacefully without violence and bloodshed. Uh, I... We're not the states, man. We don't need that crap. Like they have at Black Lives Matter protests and stuff. We don't need that shit here in Canada. And I, I do. I stand up for Chief Slowly because he he did. He really tried to get it done safely. Now uh, on to Dougie Boy, good old Dougie Boy. So he, uh, if you don't understand who I'm talking about, that's Doug Ford, by the way, our esteemed premier of Ontario. Uh, Dougie has decided to up the, the opening rates of Ontario to uh, the 17th, which is tomorrow. And uh, instead of, I think it was March 7th originally or something, anyways, he, he decided to up it. And that's good because we're getting sick and tired of the mandate. So... So basically, restaurants are going to be able to open up full capacity. You'll be able to have 50 people indoors. You'll be able to have uh, 100 people outdoors or something like that. Uh, uh, theaters, theaters, dance halls and stuff, they're going to open to 50% capacity and stuff. And then it's going to change again. And uh, Dougie's finally come out and said that he's not sure that the mandates worked. He doesn't think they work, so he's getting rid of them. I don't know. Is this a ploy because there's an election coming up or or what? But like I said, Dougie's been put into such a, a difficult situation that I think Win would have killed us if she had a one. Um, but yeah, so Dougie, Dougie's trying his best. He came out and he, he was against, he even suggested that like, I mean, he's not even pushing everybody for their booster to get the third shot anymore because uh, he thinks with two, you might be enough. I mean, Dougie's not a scientist, of course, uh, but uh, he thinks that maybe since it won't protect you fully from COVID, maybe what's the point? So he is starting to get people's ideas, you know, the idea that some people just don't want it. And he's starting to agree with those people. So he's coming around 
And he said that he's been, you know, this has caused strife in his family and friends and, and stuff too. His, his uh, daughter, she's totally against all mandates and stuff. And he's been fighting with that. And that's got to be hard when it's in your own family, right? Uh, it's, I, I really wouldn't want Dougie's job right now because he does. He's got to deal with all the shit that's going on. And now the truckers and, and stuff. So good for you, Dougie. I'm really glad you're coming to your senses finally. And we are getting rid of some of these mandates or the mandates. March 1st, we're getting rid of the, uh, the passport, the vaccination passport for, uh, to go eat in restaurants and stuff. And that's a good thing too. And Dougie says something smart about that too. He said, the vaccination passport is, is for two shots. He said, the only way you can have the passports is if you have all, like, is if you go all the way and do three shots and he's not believing in it. So, so yeah, they're going to get rid of the vaccine passport March 1st, which is awesome because like, I mean, I've been missing hanging out with some friends and stuff in the bars that we couldn't do because, you know, not all of them are vaccinated and stuff. So it's nice that I'll be able to go out and hang out with some friends. Uh, it, it's just good. It's time. It really is time. We need to just live with this virus. It's like it's becoming like the common cold or the flu. We just need to live live with it. Just learn to live with it, you know? And uh, the, apparently that's what we're going to do, which is great. I, I do. Like I said, I've, all, I've often been for your freedom of choice of your body. It's the same, like I said, it's the same way as an abortion and stuff. It's your body, your right to do what you want to do. So good on everybody for getting this. Now, I don't know if the truckers had a lot to do with this because even before the truckers got here, there was talk of, you know, us starting to reopen Ontario and and uh, everything else. So, so I mean, truckers might have helped. We're going to call it a draw, though. At least I'm going to call it a draw. I don't think it's it was all them and it's all Dougie. I really don't think that. But but at least it's going to be over. He also Doug also said that he's going to that the mandate for the mask will probably go away too in the in the very near future. And a lot of people are sick of the mask too. Uh, but you know, some people, you'll, you'll still have your choice to wear it if you want to, like, he's not saying you don't have, like, he's not taking that right away. He's just saying you don't have to all the time, wear that mask all the time, which is fine. Again, some people choose to wear it. Some people won't. So with the trucker convoy. So there was a leak, a leaked, a leaked letter with all the sponsors from uh, from the Give Send Go campaign, the money for the truckers, and this list they got hacked, and this list was released, and people are trying to cancel people out who gave the truckers money. Now, I don't think that's right. I hate cancel culture. I do have a cancel culture uh, video uh, podcast to come out sooner or later when some of the news around here dies down. Um, but yeah, I don't think you should be canceled if you, if you supported the truckers because originally the truckers wanted the money to support them for gas and lodgings and food and stuff that's an honorable thing like that's fine right so what if people who gave them the money that's all they wanted they just wanted to give the money and shows a little bit of support and help somebody pay to get back home i don't think they should be they should lose their jobs uh there was this story there was this one lady who lost her job because she works for the government and because they saw that she had sent a Oh, she worked for the Solicitor General and they found that she had donated and then got fired. I don't think that was right. It's what she does with her money. And if she's doing it under the guise of, you know, she's just helping these people eat and get back and forth to home or or whatever, I don't think she should have been fired. I don't think you should ever be canceled for what you do in your personal time. Unless, like, I mean, you're, you know, uh, trying to think. 
I don't know. I just, I think it's your personal time and, and you have a right to support whoever you want to support. Uh, you shouldn't be canceled because of that. I really don't think that I hate cancel culture. I hate the idea of it. I hate the fact that people can decide who gets canceled and who doesn't get canceled. That's just bullshit. Like, like I said, maybe these people that were on this list, maybe they just supported, just wanted to help support them get back and forth, you know, and, and not everybody is thinking that the truckers were filled with Nazis and stuff. Sure. Sure. Pat King, huge Nazi, Tim Arrow Litch. She's in that, uh, that party at West that wanted to separate, you know, the Western provinces from the rest of Canada and stuff. But a lot of people just want to give the truckers a hand in, you know, financial aid and getting back and forth. That's all it is. And you can't be, you shouldn't be canceled for that. That's just bullshit. As far as I'm concerned, canceling anything that you're doing, you haven't went against anybody's rights. You haven't taken anybody's freedoms away yet. You're not free to do your own. It just makes no sense to me. Speaking about trucks, holy Jesus. Uh, Coots border in Alberta, they, they seized, they just uh, arrested 13 people for possession of all kinds of guns, bulletproof vests and ammunition and stuff. And they think there was going to be, you know, bloodshed at the border. Uh, it, and that's Coots, Alberta, right? Um, means the police and stuff because they're tired of their shit out there. And I guess this group of 13 people were going to, help fix it actually they were going to add to a death toll but uh but yeah so they got caught and arrested and the guns confiscated which is good like i mean i'm i'm really glad that the cops did their job and got these this shit off the off the uh ground there is no um there is no direct link apparently between the the uh the coots border arrests and the Ottawa convoy. There's no direct link, but I mean, come on. If you do the math, there probably is some sort of link, right? And then that wasn't the only guns either, right? 2,000 guns got stolen in Peterborough uh, from a, at a transport uh, facility. And 2,000 guns, that can cause a lot of damage too. Fortunately, they found the truck and they found the trailer in peel and then uh the police found the guns which is awesome so there's two thousand guns that aren't making it to the streets uh i don't know how this happens i don't know how people get that but apparently they got lucky with this because they had broken into multiple trailers and that's the only one they took so maybe they knew it was there they just didn't know the trailer number but either way they got caught and enough is that what else do we got going on? I keep seeing a lot of uh, Facebook posts of, you know, anti-Zuckerberg uh, and stuff. And people complaining about being kicked off Facebook for various reasons and, and, and the bots and, and other things. You know this is a free service, right? You do. You know this is a free service. Uh, you're not paying a cent, so you shouldn't expect anything. Like they say, you don't get anything for free. And uh, so I've been, like, especially lately during, well, during the insurrection and then in the news, and now you got other things happening around the world, and, and Facebook's taking down posts about certain things they don't believe in or whatever. They're trying to find false news and get rid of that and stuff but you can't complain about that like i said it's a free app um if they made you pay money for facebook and uh and then you you were paying money and stuff you you really you could bitch about it right you you'd have a right to bitch about it because you are you know paying money but if you're getting something for free you don't you shouldn't be bitching about it shut your goddamn mouth and just deal with it uh, you can all like, I mean, there's something else you could do. You could go to Twitter or somewhere else. You know, you don't have to be on Facebook. So just remember that 
Facebook is a free thing and it is good too. Like, I mean, okay. There's a lot of negativity on Facebook, like lots and lots of negativity, but every once in a while, there's a good, there's a good story. But what I like about, what I like about Facebook is the fact that I can see what my friends that I had from younger days and stuff are out doing. And they're, you know, uh, it's easier to keep in touch with your past is, and it's a nice thing. Uh, is there a lot of bullshit? Oh God, yes, more bullshit that you can know. But I get a lot of my hints on where to look for news and stuff from Facebook because people are constantly posting links to news stories and stuff, and then I go read them. Or and no, 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 don't think I just read the uh, the mainstream media crap either. I read all all kinds of other crap too. So yeah, but. If it's a free site, maybe you should just deal with it. Like, quit with your bitching. <sighs> he, the board of governors for Facebook or Meta, or whatever in the hell you want to call it, they have the right to do basically whatever they want with their site. You signed a, you signed a, uh, you didn't I accept all the things when you signed up for Facebook. So yeah, you they can do basically whatever they want. And you can't you shouldn't be bitching about it because you signed your it away. Um do do they have some obligations? A couple. I think they should make sure that your if whatever information you have stored is kept secret and stuff. But other than that, like I mean, you should have no say on what their content is. They put their content there. You're, until you start paying for it. It's free. I really do love the fact that uh, we are opening up, though. I really, really do. It seems like it's been so long. And uh, it's just nice to see the end in sight, you know? The... Uh, Like the end of all the mandates will be cool. Like I said, I was pissed because like right now I'm supposed to be sitting in Mexico. But because of everything with the COVID thing, we decided, you know, just maybe not go, maybe postpone it. Because what if something happens and we can't get back into the country and blah, 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 blah. And so we missed it. I was supposed to watch the goddamn Super Bowl in Mexico. Woo! Jesus. Um, that would have been super cool. But, like, I mean, I'll, I'll end up in Mexico sooner or later. Uh, you know, checking out tequila places. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lots of tequila, man. Um, but, yeah, so I guess this is the news. That's all the news I have for today. Uh, sticker, come back uh, next week for some more. Remember, I've got my blog happening every Monday and Friday. Subscribe to my channel. I can really use the subscribers. I've taken a hit with this trucker convoy because people don't realize that these are my opinions. And just because they're, they differ from your opinions doesn't mean we are we fight. It just means that we have different opinions. And that's what I've said before in the past a lot is that is that we're adults. We're allowed to have different opinions. Wouldn't it be boring if every single person thought the same way? Anyway, this is Dwayne, the booze and blogger from Dwayne's World. Take care of yourselves. Get vaccinated or don't get vaccinated. It's your choice. You are really, really free to, uh, to, uh, you are really, really free to make that decision yourself. Just remember what, what you got to do in life or don't got to do. Don't be a fucking asshole!